suppose we have stairs 5 meters long so that the elevation is 3 meters. However, those stairs are a bit unstable and we would like to support them at every meter of stairs' length. Do we have to measure the height of each support? Well, if we denote the corresponding points as follows, O, N1, N2, up to N5, and over here M1, M2, up to M5, Then we can see that the triangles O N1 M1, O N2 M2 up to O N5 M5 are similar. But that means that N1 M1 over OM1 is equal to N2M2 over OM2 and that will be equal up to N5M5 over OM5. But OM2 is 2 times OM1, so OM2 is 2 times OM1, which means that N2M2 will also be 2 times N1M1. Similarly, OM3 is 3 times OM1, so N3M3 will be 3 times N1M1. And N4, M4 is 4 times N1, M1. And N5, M5 is 5 times N1, M1. But we know that N5, M5 is 3 meters, which means that N1, M1 is equal to N5 M5 over 5, which is equal to 3 meters over 5, and that is equal to 0 0.6 meters. And now that we know N1 M1, we can calculate N2 M2, which is equal to 2 times N1 M1, and that is equal to 2 times 0 0.6 meters which is equal to 1.2 meters. N3 M3 is equal to 3 times 0 0.6 meters. And that is equal to 1.8 meters. N4 M4 is 4 times 0 0.6 meters. Which is equal to 2.4 meters. And N5 M5 is 5 times 0 0.6 meters which is equal to 3 meters. But of course we already knew that N5 M5 is equal to 3 meters since that was given. What does this have to do with the sine and the cosine? We saw that these ratios are equal and that is always the case when we have similar triangles. However, in this particular case, those triangles are right triangles, and we say that the sine of this angle, that we shall call alpha, is equal to these ratios. And note that the sine of alpha doesn't depend on any particular triangle, since for all similar triangles, the corresponding ratios are equal. Now we can define that if in a right triangle alpha is an acute angle, the sine of alpha is equal to the ratio of the opposite leg to the hypotenuse. 
so what is the sine of alpha in our example? Well, the sine of alpha is equal to these ratios, and in particular it's equal to N5M5 over OM5, so the sine of alpha is equal to N5M5, which is 3 meters, over OM5, which is 5 meters, and that is equal to 0 0.6. And note that the sine of alpha doesn't have any unit, there are no meters or degrees or any other unit, it's just a number. But can we somehow use the sine of alpha to calculate the heights of these supports? Well, for support N1M1, we can say that N1M1 is equal to the sine of alpha times OM1. Similarly, N2M2 is equal to the sine of alpha times OM2. And N3M3 is equal to the sine of alpha times OM3. N4M4 is equal to the sine of alpha times OM4. And N5M5 is equal to the sine of alpha times OM5. But the sine of alpha is equal to 0 0.6 and OM1 is equal to 1 meter. So this is equal to 0 0.6 meters. For N2M2 we get that this is equal to 0 0.6 times OM2, which is 2 meters, and that is equal to 1.2 meters. N3M3 is equal to 0 0.6 times 3 meters, and that is equal to 1.8 meters. N4M4 is equal to 0 0.6 times 4 meters, and that is equal to 2.4 meters. And N5M5 is equal to 0 0.6 times 5 meters, and that is equal to 3 meters. If the sine of an angle is equal to the ratio of the opposite leg to the hypotenuse, what is the cosine? Well, the cosine of an angle is equal to the ratio of the adjacent leg to the hypotenuse. We started with a problem concerning heights of supports of stairs and whether we have to measure each of them. Then we noticed that we have similar triangles and that the corresponding ratios are equal. And from those ratios we were able to calculate the heights of supports. Now, in that particular case, the ratios we observed were between legs and hypotenuses of right triangles, which is how we define the sine of an angle. Namely, as the ratio of the opposite leg to the hypotenuse. Similarly, the cosine of an angle is defined as the ratio of the adjacent leg to the hypotenuse. With that in mind, I leave you with this question. If alpha is an acute angle for which the sine of alpha is equal to 0 0.328, what is the cosine of 90 degrees minus alpha? That is all for this video. If you liked it, click the like button, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time.